Are you holding out on God? This week we looked at a message where Paul was um, commending the Philippians for their generosity, even though we know that the Philippians were people who didn't have a whole lot to give. And and in our life groups, we've been going through this study called Generous of, uh, Genius of Generosity. And one of the questions that was asked in the life group that I was in was, why genius? Why pick that word? And and I've really been kind of thinking about that. And, and, and this is where I kind of landed. I, I think it's because um, geniuses are considered crazy in their time. Uh, a lot of the geniuses that we've seen throughout history, they come up with these concepts or these ideas that they were trying to prove. And, and people are just like, that is just so out of this world. It's not even that there's no way that can be true. And finds out and turns up that they, they were right. They were true. And I think that's how generosity is. We live in a world today that says, if I want to get, if I want to satisfy myself, if I want to fulfill myself, then I need to serve I in order to fulfill I. But see, generosity says something totally different. It says, I'm going to give to others in order to receive a deeper relationship with Christ. And that's what our heart actually longs for. That's what will actually satisfy the joy, peace, and satisfaction that we long for in the depths of our heart. So generosity is this, is this way that we can accomplish this. That's why genius. It's just crazy to the world. They say, no, you need to give to yourself. And you need to do these things for yourself. And, and generosity specifically when it comes from the Bible and the way Jesus talks about generosity he says give to others and that's where you receive what your heart actually longs for deeper relationship with Christ so it's not it's not what the the size of your gift that matters it's not it's not that remember it was only it was five loaves and two fish and when it was put into Jesus's hands it made a meal for 5,000 plus people this small little gift when put in the hands of Jesus fed 5,000 plus people people. It's not the size of the gift that matters. It was just a ragtag bunch of fishermen, a bunch of guys who were going nowhere. But when they placed their lives in the hands of Jesus, they turned the world upside down. Listen, it was just uh, some wood and a cross on this random hill in uh, right outside of Jerusalem. But it became the salvation of the world when Jesus was put on it. If we offer these things to Jesus, if we offer what we have to Jesus, no matter how small it is, Listen, Jesus can do immaculate and amazing things with us, with it. So the point is, give what you have. <laughs> it's not about the size of the gift. God's just calling you to give what you have. Your gift in the hands of Jesus can change the world. So let's be world changers. Hey, if you want to check out our last Whiteboard Wednesday, click here. If you want to try to connect with us on social media, and we want to uh, invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here.